There is aluminum roof paneling flying and a cloud of black smoke. That was my, I think, one of the most visually impressive explosions I ever got to create. Um, it was like it was made out of matchsticks or something. Yeah, exactly. And so that's it. We're out of there. Um, we're out of bombs. We've hit both of our aim points. It's pretty successful from a star baby shooter standpoint. Um, and we have not embarrassed ourselves. Check rod. So this is the check rod video. And what we're going is Podgorica airfield had a long extended taxiway that went into the side of a mountain. And it was a dual use base with so the civilian side and military side. We pretty much left the civilian side alone. Um, and, you know, we kind of trashed the military side of the field. And we're going to go underground, look for the underground storage, which I have no photos of. And of course, I'm flying with no photos and my sketch is from memory. That doesn't look good. Okay. Update. Designated. Right. Your radar. My radar. That fast. The radar picture was that good. Um, because the, you see the taxiways kind of curve around the mountain, go into the, where the door has to be, uh, designate where the door has to be, and I'm done with the radar. It's that shooters. Or in this case, sorry, it's War Dog in the front seat. Squadron Commander. So this is weird. I'm the mission commander. My squadron commander is in the front seat. War Dog's a great squadron commander. There was never a tug of war. If the mission commander was in the back seat, the mission commander was in the back seat. Captured. Got the capture. Coming up on 330. Motivation to 11 Correct. Going to Magnum Jets, Magnum. Harm shot in the air. Ready light. We're naked. 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 We're Come north. Come right to north. Come right to north. I've realized the angle is too shallow and this is not going to work. Rolling out north. Designated? Okay, come back on the designation. Okay. Target ID. Right. The weather looks good to me. Same. Magic dust is different. Clear. Okay. Didn't drop. Raj, clear to drop. Dagger 3 1 confirmed. Dagger 3 1 out. Five right. seconds rolling. Check clear. Bombs are in the air. We're maneuvering pretty severely. What you're really looking at is the concrete cap that was kind of protecting the tunnel entrance. Uh, and this, even on the original tape, it was hard to make out uh, unless you knew what you're looking for. But the white, you know, curve, the taxiway coming in uh, here is the pointer. And sitting here at the same temperature as the taxiway, around here is a MiG-21. Ah. And so he's doing a dive delivery then? Pardon? He's doing a dive delivery? Yeah, yeah, we we did a bunch of dive deliveries. Um. Because it reduced the time of flight and put some energy on the bomb. And so remember, we're we're using GBU tens with their tendency to sag when we'd rather have had a GBU twenty four that I couldn't trust. So War Dog is we're gonna deliver a twenty degree dive was typical. So remember, Shooter and I attacked an SA three in the clouds at a twenty degree dive. Mm. Um and that's just to put some more energy behind the bomb. Bombs will come in from the left.
So here's a better view. You can see how the taxiway, here's where the MIG is around here. Taxiway goes under this kind of domed cap and makes a turn into the mountainside. Mm, okay. And there's a set of blast doors hidden behind here. So what I'm trying to do is hit this rock face. Um, I really want the bombs to hit at the junction. So I'm elevating above the rock face in the hopes that I will bypass all the hardening and go in behind the doors by the time they detonate. They're penetrators, blue 109s. Uh, they have a delay fuse. Good. That's it. Well, extend a little. Two. Magic. My three one is resisted. And so, unfortunately, I don't have a good slow down version of that to show you the fireball coming out. Um. And uh, revealing the MiG twenty one, but it definitely made a big bang. And that was um. So that was two GBU tens, right? That was two GBU tens. Was it the double miracle method that you were talking about earlier then, or are they impacting at the same time? No, well, so the the you can't actually release them at the same time. The minimum release interval is about a hundred milliseconds. So it's essentially consecutive miracles by default. Okay. And I was um, gonna I was gonna ask about that. So you talked about, you know, effectively uh, being able to double your penetration uh, using that method. Um <clears throat> I suppose the obvious question is doesn't the explosion from the first one um, potentially disrupt the fusing or the fuse mechanism or or whatever of the second one. I'm, you know, I'm guessing if they're very close together, then it's not going to disrupt its path through the air, um, but it could impact the fusing. Fuses a tail fuse, um, and it's uh, it's designed it's, it's designed to function after it goes through concrete. 